Although she never had many hits, she was one of the most underappreciated soul and R&B vocalists of the 60s. Despite being overlooked, she is regarded as one of the best R&B vocalists of her day. This performer is capable of singing soul, jazz, and pop music. The centerpiece of today's video is all about Maxine Brown. Now, before we start, let's be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell to be sure you won't miss out on any more uploads. Now without further ado, let's cue that intro. Maxine Ella Brown was born on August 18, 1939 in Kings Tree, South Carolina. As a kid, her family relocated to New York, where she began her singing career in her local church. Now upon editing, I came across that Miss Brown's upcoming was a little bit rough. I have hers planted. When she was still in high school, her parents died. Yeah. And, and that was just not true. Yeah, that was so misquoted. Yeah. Because my mother had to come and kidnap us, but I didn't know it was my mother at the time of the kidnapping. Okay. It's quite a story. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm kind of deaf on one side because my father tried to kill my mother in the house, would shoot at her with a gun. Wow. And, and she, he shot between us, and that's why I'm kind of deaf on one side. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. That a well, he had a posse out looking for us. Oh. <laughs> I mean, this was really... This sounds... This was really, um, like, like you... Like, yeah. It sounds like some good old Texas Western. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Brown was a teenager when she joined two New York-based gospel groups, the Manhattans and the Royal Tones, in the late 50s. Brown performed with the phrase in the early 60s before joining Nomar Records later that year. While at Nomar, Brown released the singles All In My Mind. It's more than I can bear. And funny. Oh, really? I think I in 1961, she released her debut self-titled album. Later that year, Brown departed from Nomar to join ABC Paramount Records. Now with ABC Paramount, Brown had charted singles after all we've been through. Oh, we've been through. Mm -hmm. I got a funny kind of feeling. And my time for crying. On the hill tonight, it's time for love. Following a disappointing run, she departed and signed with Scepter Records, subsidiary label Wine Records, in 1963. That same year, she released a single, Ask Me. I find it's no that next year, Brown had two more charted singles with Coming Back to You. But deep down in my soul. And Oh No, Not My Baby. A single word was true. I showed them all I had a faith in you. That same year, she released two albums Maxine Brown and Arma Thomas followed by Spotlight on Maxine Brown. Brown recorded duets with label mate Chuck Jackson in 1965. And these songs was Something You Got. Something You Got. You ought to Can't Let You Out of My Sight. Oh, I can't let you out of my sight. I can't let you out of my sight. And I Need You So. That same year, she released solo singles. It's gonna be all right. I said that he will always be one step at a time. Slow and easy. Please be kind. And if I gotta make a fool of somebody. Oh, 
Furthermore, duets with Jackson was I'm Satisfied. You do to me. Hold on, I'm coming. The bad. When the day comes and you're down in a room. And Daddy's Home. Daddy's Home. Daddy's Home. In 1966, Brown released a single, I Don't Need Anything. Till you came home and taught me. In 1968, Brown released the album Out of Sight. That next year, she released a single, We'll Cry Together. Your taxi's waiting. Go. The title album followed this single. During her tenure at WAN, she was overshadowed by Dionne Warwick, who was signed to the primary label and was in many ways the biggest star despite Brown's greatest versatility and skills. Brown left Juan Records in 1969 to join Commonwealth United Records before signing with Avco Records. Later in her career, she provided backup vocals for Sissy Houston and The Sweet Inspiration. Brown's last charted hit came in 1970 with the song I can't get along without you. Darling, without you, tell me what would I do to carry on? Brown continued to release albums throughout her career, including Blue Ribbon Country, Volume 1 in 1975, One in a Million in 1984, Like Never Before in 1985, and a best of album called Oh No, Not My Baby, released in 1990. In 2019, Brown decided to step away entirely from performing. Now, before we go, I have a few questions for you all. Do you believe Maxine Brown is underrated? Also, what is your favorite song by Maxine Brown? <laughs>